Hello, hello. Long time no see. Sorry about that. <clears throat> it's day 90. It's the final day. Let's get it done. Finally. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's start out right away. Kayak knee lift. I'm gonna do my best. It's the last day. I'm gonna try not to injure myself again. I'm feeling better. Ish. <laughs> my shoulder's a bit better. My knee is pretty good, I think. We'll find out. I'm still gonna take it somewhat easy. I tell you this last this last week has turned into a month. <laughs> it's just been terrible. So, if you were doing it with me every day, my apologies. But, that's the nice thing about video. You can do it anytime. We got 10 seconds left in the running, in place. Moving on to sun salutation. straight as much as you can. Hinge at the hips. Let's drop down into upward. Oh, dog. It still doesn't feel good on the shoulder. Let's go. It's a downward dog. <clears throat> Press those heels down. Keep the legs straight. You can pedal the feet. Let's come back up. Straight those legs. Bend down. Deep breath. Ooh, tap it. Let's go down again. Down. Up to flat back. Down we go. Dog, butt up, legs are straight, heels are down if you can. Oh boy, it's been too long. Oh, they're all done. Let's come back up. Oh. Down. Inhale up. Tap it. Drop it. All right. Near and far. As always, if you need any more warm up, go for it. Do what you need. So near and far, starting in one corner, kicking those knees up. Or the heels up, should say. Trying to kick your butt. And into the middle, and to the side. Over. And of course, the farther you can go, But if all you can do is that, maybe you don't have enough space. Hey, it's all right. You're moving and you're grooving. We got 15 seconds. Set it up. Up, pull, kick, 
lean back on the ball. As always, I lean back on my kick too. Boom. Put your legs, left leg forward. Same thing, cross elbow, upward block, pull, kick, elbow, block, pull, kick, boom, boom, bam, there, pull, kick. Remember those kicks, you're bringing up your knee, you're snapping. Not a, that's it, one more. <laughs> it's not a, a rocket kick. So oh, spin jacks, okay? You bring up that knee, snap up the leg. Spin jacks, I'm not gonna bother with the spin. You can if you want. It's been a hard week. Normally it's the Saturday special today, but not today. It's an extra hard day, so you don't have anything. If your energy is low, you can just go low and slow. If you've got some extra, you can pick up the pace. Find the, way, find the pace that works for you. I'm pretty happy with this. You have five seconds. Let's spin. Hey. <laughs> that's, that's that. I don't know what this thing is supposed to do, but just to spice things up, I guess. All right, back to punching. Uh, down straight, jab, elbow, up elbow. Step forward, and down strike. The right leg forward, jab, elbow, down. Step back, oh, they're crossing. Right, it's elbow, down. Second round, they go up. Jab, elbow, down. Jab, elbow, down. Jab, elbow. Let's do one more. The leg of the side. Left leg forward. Jab, oops. <laughs> Jab, elbow, step, and down. Whew. Elbow, down. Now you can step forward farther. Obviously, that gets more, more working. Two nineties. Oops. <laughs> uh, elbow and down. There we go. Always, always get me confused when we switch directions. Jump, lunge, row. Oh, excuse me. So it's a normal standing in the middle, but one side. It's a normal row. some air in the middle though. The other days, you're stepping, you're skipping. The final phase, bring up those knees as much as you can. One minute of this <laughs> gets me. We got 18 seconds. Up. You need to take a break. Drop down to one of the other kinds. One more. Up. Hard for one minute. Low block, 
cross, pull. So low block, cross, pull. Oops, <laughs> see, I always screw up. Pull block, cross, pull. Set it up, pull. Lean back on the pull. Don't hyper extend on the cross. Don't pop that elbow. Stop before you bang the joint. Boom, one more. Other side. <laughs> I'm whipped already. So, we'll block, cross. Lean back on that pull. Oh. And then there. Oh. Oh. One more. Oh. Alright. Monster tires. So. much as you can. They're gonna start low. Sounds like a plan. Going in all six of your boxes. Middle, front, middle, back. Once you get the rhythm, pick up those knees. They're doing pauses as well. So let's pause. Hold it. Stop on whatever leg you're on. End up. 20 seconds. Forward, back. Pause. I even messed myself up. Go. 10 seconds. Pause. And go. Three, two, one. Forward, uppercut, down, sprawl, come on up, uppercut, down straight, sprawl, up, uppercut, down straight, sprawl, come on up, boom, 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 that's it for that side. <coughs> faster, do it. If you can go slower, that's okay, do it. Just keep doing there, doing your stuff. I forgot, damn, sprawl. We're on the other side, of course. That was a weird uppercut. Set up, keep those hands up. Cross legs, cross knees, back 
down. Back up. Ten seconds. Back down to last. And that's it. All right. That's one. <laughs> Jump, kick, down strike. forward, left leg comes up, <coughs> right leg kicks out, step forward with the right leg, and down straight. Oh. You're struggling, excuse me, if you need to take a break, take it, push pause, come back when you got your breath. Probably should do that myself, but I won't. We're almost, almost at the break point, I think. Other side. Keep talking, Tony. It's the way to do it. So up, down straight, set it up. Right leg comes up, left leg, kicks out, come on back, boom, boom, boom. On that down strike, you can step that back leg back as you do. That's it. Box the skater. Going from one corner to another. And jumping over. <coughs> Try and keep this leg off from touching the ground. Bend down. Touch the floor. <coughs> over. Over. I think I'll go this way. So I'm farther away from my weights. <laughs> Don't pull over. If you need to touch to maintain your balance, that's all right. And remember on these, you're not bending over with your back, keeping that leg straight. You're bending that leg. So it's like a one legged squat, basically. Eight seconds. Going, do what you can. Over uh, and over. All right. I've got long arms. Makes it a bit easier to hit the ground. If you can't touch the ground, touch your shin, touch your toe. Go down as low as you can. We got elbow down straight. Sprawl, scramble. <coughs> Let's try. So, elbow across, down straight. Sprawl, scramble. Elbow down, sprawl. Scramble. We've done that side. I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> Whatever leg you're going down, so left leg is front. As you come down and scramble, you want to make sure you're coming up on that left leg. Down, scramble, raise up on that leg. Other side, right leg forward, elbow down, sprawl. I don't want to do that side. Scramble, boom, 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 and up, boom, down, and scramble. 
this way. Just for fun. Yeah. I'm also I'm kind of cheating. That's it. My scrambles. My butt's way up in the air. If you can, keep it low. Keep in the sprawl formation. It's tough to do. Especially when you're doing it fast. I'm gonna take a break and hit you. Alright. That's round one. Excuse me. We got one round to go. We're back into it in two seconds. Oh, man. All right, near and far. If you're super tired, just step in, step out. I'm super tired. Do what you can do. If you're feeling it, bring up those heels. Kick your butt. Don't forget your arms. Swing them. At least a little bit. 28 seconds, halfway. Of course, the farther you jump, the more. you're gonna use and your glutes. Make sure to keep your knees bent as well. Don't be doing it. Stompy. Stay on your toes. Bounce with your knees. One down. Elbow block, pull, kick. Do your best, forget the rest. Right leg forward, right arm forward. Elbow, upper block, pull, and straight kick. Elbow, upper, pull, kick. Like you're kicking down a door. Boom. Three seconds, one more. You're probably going much faster than me. In that case, I applaud you. Well done. Oh, block. Okay. And to remember, it's not a competition. I'm doing what I can do. It doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. All that matters is what you're doing. Over. One more. Boom. Up. Bang. Boom. We're on spin jacks. They just went right into it. Okay. Now, if you want to change this up, you want to do fronts, you can. You want to spin for some different <laughs> views of your room. Go for it. Oh, man. Now we're down. 30 seconds to go. <clears throat> and a spin. You got 15 seconds. I'm drifting forward and back. You do that too. Go to your front boxes. Go to your back boxes. That's it. Uh, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Feel free. Jab, elbow, down 
straight. This one, they switch it up. It's an upper elbow jab. Upper elbow. Step forward. Down. <laughs> and beat. Get that brain focused down.
10 seconds. Pick it up and pick up the pace. Pick up the knee height. Two. That's it. All right. Moving into sprawl territory. Uppercut. Down strike. Right leg forward. Hands come up. Oh, mama. Upper head. Down. Sprawl. Come on up with that leg. Upper head. Down. That's an awful down strike. Upper head. Down strike. Sprawl. Come up. Two more. Thanks. No, thank you. One thing too, if you're doing a down strike, then a sprawl. If you're bending, if you're keeping your legs straight out on the punch, it takes you more time, more energy to go down. If you bend your knee with the punch, you're already down. Uh, Climber combo. Let's do it. Get on down. Cross those knees. Yeah. Shoulder's not a fan. Shoulder is not a fan of this one. Let's go down. Two sprawl or sphinx to sprawl. To sphinx. Get that butt down. Come on up. Squeeze those abs. Down. To swings. Fifteen seconds. Come on up. Come on. Three seconds. Think. That's the last one. Ever. Unless we decide to do this all again. We got jump, kick, down strike. Come on up. Look at that clock. Four minutes. And we are done. Let's go right leg forward and stay up. Kick. Step back. Straight down. Boom. Step back. Straight down. Boom. Down. Kick. Now, if your kicks are down there, you're still getting off the ground. You're still killing it. Good job. Other side. Last time. Two moves to go. 
Box skater. Do your best. Tell that to myself. Over. Down. Over. Down. Over. Over. Notice the foot's not touching. And I'm trying to keep it somewhat close to my other foot. It's going back a bit. I'm tired, what can I tell you? Down. It's your opposite arm. That's doing most of the counterbalance. Just like a speed skater. Oh. Oh. 17 seconds. Of course, the farther you jump as well, two more. We're gonna get out of it. Two more. Oh, <laughs> don't fall. And one more. And that's it. Last move. Elbow down strike. Sprawl scramble. First, I'm dead. Elbow down, sprawl. Uh, I'm not gonna scramble. I'm too tired. Boom, 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 up. Two more if we can. Down, up. If you can't scramble if you don't have space, just do what I do. Uh, Space, but I don't have the energy. Uh, on the other side. Let's get four. Up, down, up. Elbow, down, straight. Sprawl. Scramble up. Elbow, down, sprawl. Yeah, up. Last one. Throw a sprawl in. Sprawl. That's it. Just need a knee for a sec here. Alright. Okay. Up we go. Ladies, gentlemen. Dogs, cats, whoever is doing this with me, the biggest bow, the biggest fist pump, the biggest high ten, you just completed Apropur for C for the final time. Dang, that was not Apropur. <laughs> I always say that. You just completed. Oh, I can't even know the name. Sweat, that's the word. I'm so beat. Sweat C. Off the map. We're done. It's cool down time. If you're following them, sweet. If you're waiting for me, sorry. I'm gonna have a drink. Ding dong. Two little pulses. Boom, boom. Up with the leg. Boom, boom. And one more. That's a ding dong. I call it a tutorial. <coughs> Let's just do straight up quad. Oh, get that in there. Uh, don't fall over. You can fall over. Wow. <laughs> you can tell I haven't done this in a while. I'm grabbing that invisible chair. 
mime in the chair, that's, it helps, I don't know why. You can mime a wall, you can mime resting on someone's shoulder. Bring that up, push that hip forward, those knees together and parallel. Pushing that hip there, you can feel that in the hip flexor. That's my problem on that side. Super tight, well they're both tight, but I feel it on that one. Probably means this one's too tight. <laughs> Whatever. <coughs> Let's continue with the legs. Let's step forward just a bit. Lean forward, keep that leg bent. Bring that arm, bring that hip around. Grab the toe or the ankle, whatever you can do. Don't go too hard. You don't want to pull your hamstring. You just want to loosen it. Uh, here also you're hinging at the back. You're not rounding your back. Hinge at the back as you go down. Grab what you can. Keep that leg straight. All right. Let's get down to business. Actually, yeah, let's keep doing legs. We'll do shoulders after. Up we go. Reach it up. Let's go down to 90. Exhale in. Squeeze those forearms together. Reach it up. You can reach over and look up at that hand. Come on back up. Looking the other way. Reach over. Up. Let's go down. Down we go. There you go, new dads. I'm not there yet. Ugh. All the way. Let it relax. Let your head flop. Pull your shoulders out. Pull those arms. Or keep them straight. Rock back and forth. You can reach to one side if you need. Exhale on the side. I'm kind of doing it quickly to get some good stretch. You need to hold these moves longer than I'm doing. Get up on my knee for this one. Get my inner thigh, inner hip. I'm going to the side for the runner stretch. It's the last time. Let's get down. Do what we can do. Down. Oh, sit up tall. Bring that hip forward. This one too, you can take this arm and you can put it on the other side of your leg. Switch sides and the knee, inner thigh, inner hip. Turn that foot for something extra if you can. Uh, not sure if I can go all the way down here. Oh, barely. Knee down. Push that hip. Stand up tall. Sit up tall. Spin this direction if you feel like you should. Oh man. All right. Let's get back to our feet. I'm going to rag it all up, slowly rock it, the elephant, a rag doll, or whatever you call it. Deep breath, up, oh, and down. Okay, so I got to do some shoulder, just some simple stuff, cross, 
can do this, try and keep that shoulder back though. If you can, I don't know. That's part of my shoulder problem is I'm too, I'm too hunched. My rotated cuff muscles, muscles on the back there, they're too weak. So I need to try and roll back, keep them back. So if you're having any shoulder impingement, could be a problem. And I can actually show you an exercise. Reach up. Let's get that tricep. Other arm. Up. Tricep. Alright, I think I'm almost out of time. I've got a few minutes, okay. Uh, let's do front of the shoulder, rounding the back, squeezing the shoulder blades, or the shoulder, front of the shoulder together. And then the one that's important for me, reach up tall, palms together, press the shoulders back and together. If you need a little something extra, raise your arms. does some stuff. Uh, let's do one more. Switch your palms if your left was on top before. Switch it to the right just for some variety's sake. And then reach up, squeeze down. Uh, relax that head too. Don't be leaning forward. Good posture. Keep your uh, chest up, your head up. All right. If you need any more, just do some more. Okay, so I got a couple minutes. I'm gonna quickly show you a rotator cuff exercise. If you have a band and a doorknob or a door handle, just attach that to the door handle. Take one uh, handle, put it through, and pull it, and then you got it attached. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna hold it with one arm. I'm gonna take that band just before 90 degrees. This would be 90, so just before, and then open it up, and then relax. Keep it tight going back as well. Also, your shoulder is back as you're doing this. You're not hunched over. Over, and down, and open. Keep it in control on the way out, and slow on the way in. And your elbow is into your hip, into your side, not out there. Do that 10 to 15 times on one side, switch around, do it on the other side. You can do this one quite often. You also don't want, you don't want to make it a heavy weight either. It needs to be light. You're using very small muscles back there and inside the shoulder itself. So you don't need 50 pounds. Go really light. If you find after 10 reps, you're still not feeling it. Move up the, move up the resistance a bit. You can also do it with weights. I think I'm out of time. I got a minute and a half, okay. <laughs> so you can do it with weights as well. I'm not going to bother pulling them out, but you can lie down on one side, holding them like a five pound weight is all you need. Drop it down and raise it up, and drop it down and raise it up. 10 to 15, switch sides, same thing, elbow is in the same spot against your hip, just raising. This one's a bit harder to keep your shoulder from coming in, but try and keep it pulled back. And honestly, if you find yourself hunching a lot, you may not even need weights. <laughs> Just the weight of your arm might be enough for you to start feeling it, and that's a good spot to start. But I'd recommend doing, starting to do those 
at least after every resistance workout, you can do it after this too. Let's do it, go do some abs now because it's the last part of this whole stinking thing. So let's do that. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. It is the final ab ripper. Ab ripper C, the beast. Let's get it done. Do your best. Forget the rest. If you're going faster than me, you should know what it is by now. You can just get it done in 15, 20 minutes. I'll probably take 30 because I suck, but that's all right. That's what I can do. Oh, let's hope I can do this with my shoulder. Let's go. Pack my in. Outside. Inside. Elbows to the out. Elbows to the in. Up and down. Bottom and top. Up. Up. Down. Up. Two more. I think. Alright. Plantain rolls. Do your best. Arms are down. Are out. Roll it over for one. And two. Three. Oh boy. And four. Don't forget to breathe. Combo. That was under the butt. Remember to try and use your low abs and not just your hip flexors as you raise those legs. Squeeze your abs. Squeeze your glutes. Up. Down. Open. Only lower your legs. Stop before your low back starts to pump up. Halfway. Down. Up. Up. Down. Up. 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 Here you go. Struggling. Take that mid set break. Or don't drop your legs as far. That's an option too. <laughs> Alright, rope climber. Up we go. Raise it up. Land up. Grab that rope. Reach for that toe if you can. Five, switch your feet. Remember back in phase A when I was doing 10 of each? Good times, good times. And one more. Oh, that might have been a lot. Oh. Pike crunch. I don't enjoy pike crunch. Your legs are up. Chest and arms up, legs go down, arms open, down, open, up. You gotta squeeze as you come up. My legs are going pretty high. That's because I'm tired. You can go do it. 
down super low or just high. Whatever floats your boat. One more low. Up. Uh, I hate those. I'm gonna see. It's the last time. I do not like those. We got circle crunches. And behind the ears. Remember, do not pull on your head. They're just there as a guide to keep your elbows back. Elbows back. Let's go to the left. Over, up, over, and down. To the right. Over, up, over, and over, up, over. Try to keep those elbows back. Don't be pulling like that. Keep them back. Right, oh, up, left. There's four. Left, up. On those ups too. Try and get some height. Right, up, uh, It's hard. It's real hard. At six. Four to go. Come on. Up, over. Up, uh, over. I can barely get up. Super hard. One more. All right. This one's a break one for me. Heels together. It's the bridge crunch. Bring them up. Lift with your hips and glutes. Squeeze your glutes. Up. Heels together. Raise it up. And raise it up. Heels up. Toes apart, glutes squeeze that foot up. 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 Here's five. Halfway. Up. Up. Seven. Sure those are the same distance. Don't be like that. Down, squeeze it up. And over. And up. There's four. Hold it at the top. There's seven. Eight. One, get it up. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. <sighs> Roller bike. Get in your spot, your balance position. You know what to do. Around the back. Roll. Lift and twist. Roll. Twist, down, keep your feet off the ground, if you can, if you need to put your foot down, hey, how dare you, just kidding, that's four, twist, twist, there's, and this is number six, boom, boom, number seven, There you go. And boom. Boom. One more. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking of what's ahead and not what I'm doing right now. Oops. We got bug crunches. Get on down. 
let's go left arm up left leg up right arm across one two three
up, sort of. Uh, <laughs> I think I used to bring my legs up at the same time. Maybe that helps. Let's try. Oh, three to go. So down. Squeeze up. Down. Squeeze up. Down. A little bit. And up. All right. Barely got through that. I probably weren't very pretty. Yeah, another brutal one. Banana boat. You know it. You love it. Last time. The last time. Time to go. Let's do that. Get him up. Remember to round that back. Open. Go on. Twist. Round the back. Open. Reset. If your back starts arching, mine always does. That's two. That's only two. That's three. This could take me ten minutes just to get these ones done. If you're already done, congratulations. Good job. Open up. Uh, five and a half. <laughs> Six. Okay, so we've got oh, man. Sphinx, leg lift, that's the first one. Coming up, so I get into Sphinx. Let's see how I can do with these. Sphinx, butt goes down. Oh. Lift your leg, keep your butt down as much as you can. Arms down. 
my elbows are out a bit. Help my shoulder. That's alright. I'm doing what I can do. So, getting the sphinx again. Right arm, left leg. Bring him in. Down. Five on each side. Same side, right? Two, three, four, five. Ugh. Other side. One. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get my leg back. Oh well. Uh, two moves down. Spidey crunches. So this one's hard. Uh, so, not in Sphinx this time. But it's still hard. Glutes tight, abs are tight. Bending your elbows. Trying to do a half, kind of a half push up. Uh, Mama mia. Bring your knee to your elbow. Oh. Oh, I can't do that side. Oh. Oh. Will my shoulder ever heal? Oh, mercy. That's only four. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try an actual sphinx, or an actual lady. I'm gonna step forward with my arm. As I do it. Ow. It didn't help. <laughs> Four to go. Come on down. Boy. Those are not pretty. Guess what? I don't care. Oh, at this point, I don't care. We got one move to go. Quite possibly the hardest. Maybe banana boom's harder. But <laughs> it's a sphinx hold. Three points of contact, both feet, one elbow. Raising up the arm. Oh, I know this one sucks. They're trying to hold it for 15 seconds per side. Feet are wide. Get down. Feet are wide. Drop your butt. Get into things. Spin your arm. Really tough. Let's keep that hip down. Let's raise that up. Oh. A few more seconds. Come on. Down. Hip down. Okay. Other side. One more side. Come on, Adam. Come on, everyone. You got this. Oh, I forgot dolphin drops. What? Oh, nuts. Okay, we've got one more after this. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Okay, Sphinx. Spin that arm. Lift it. Drop. Down. Okay. 
surprisingly. Doing that didn't hurt my shoulder. But the other side, it did hurt that shoulder. Uh, okay, we got one move. I just forgot. I don't like these, but gotta get them done. It's the dolphin drop. Here in sinks. But try and get your butt lower than your back. Feet are together. Drop it. Drop your hip. Drop your hip. Keep your butt lower than your back if you can. There's five. Six. Take a break. Four to go. Uh, one more. Uh, come on. You got one left in you. Down. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I already know I already said this, but you have literally just completed 78 workouts, 90 days. For me, it's a bit longer, but hopefully you can do it without injury. Congratulations. Speechless. Check it off your list. You did it. You are awesome. Remember, take some photos tomorrow or something, or whenever, of what you're like now. Compare them to day one. You may not be able to notice a change by looking in a mirror. I guarantee you'll be able to notice a change if you do that. Oh. Congratulations again. I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. For anyone that came along with the journey, we had our ups and downs. I hope you had a smoother ride than I did, but I finished it. Today was the last day, officially. I'm so happy. I pretty much had to force myself to do this one. It's been, I've done a few things here and there in my little recovery phase <laughs> that I've needed, but it hasn't been a consistent exercise routine. It's been a lot of sitting in a chair on a computer or standing at a table playing a game. Mordheim, if anyone's interested. Best game ever. Uh, on the tabletop, not, not, the, not, the, not the computer game. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that, but I haven't been doing a lot of exercise, which I, I don't like myself for doing that, but sometimes the motivation is just really hard to find. So the fact that you are here on day 90 celebrating with me as I celebrate with you we did it we beat this thing <sighs> congratulations now the only question is where do you go from here <laughs> if you're feeling good if you're feeling strong I'd recommend P90X it does require a little bit more equipment it requires chin-up bar which you can find those in a lot of different places I have the official one that I bought years and goes years and years ago. You can probably still buy it on beachbodyshop.com or whatever it is. But I don't know. P90X is an older workout, so I don't know if they still stock it, stock the stuff. But really, you just need any kind of chin-up bar, pull-up bar. Um, 
change your weights or your bands. It's been a while since I've done it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's everything. I think the only other thing was the chin-up bar. So if you can find one of those, hook it, hook it to a door frame somewhere, you're good to go, P90X. If you don't want to do that, if you're still in this sort of mediocre, don't think I'm ready for that. There's a lot of other programs on Beachbody um, that, that I'm sure can float your boat. If you do the Beachbody on demand.com, you'll have access to 80 programs or something crazy like that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. I might. One thing I would recommend too, if you're a fan of Tony Horton, such as myself, if you go to, I think it's TonyHortonFitness.com, that is, he's no longer with Beachbody. He is his own separate entity now. So any support you can throw his way, uh, he would much appreciate it. And I would appreciate it because he's the reason we have this program. So it'd be great to keep supporting him. So check out Tony Horton, I think it's Tony Horton Fitness. It might be Tony Horton Life. It's one of the two. You can also try TonyHortonRaffle.com where he's raffling away tickets for a big prize pack. Three different prize packs of, of good stuff. I'll put all those in the description. Check him out. That might be something that you want to move on to after this one. If you did do this for 13 weeks in a row, I would recommend taking a week off, letting your body heal and recover. It is, you'll find when you come back that you are stronger than you were before. So take at least take a few days off. Don't just take Sunday and then jump into Monday and go, okay, here we go, P90X. It could take a little bit of time. Not too much time like me, I took way too much, but take a tiny bit so your body can fully recover. Even in the P90X program, you get one week recovery times where it's just like yoga and stretching and like it's the, not that yoga is easy, but it's, it's a more mellow week to let your body recover. So I'd recommend, sorry about, it's on my couch and I'm probably bouncing the camera. Uh, I'd recommend doing something like that, take a bit of time, do some light stuff before you jump into something super heavy again. I think that is it. I'll say one more time, thank you for coming along. If you liked this program, um, let me know down below. I, I don't know what else I could do aside from trying to make my own, um, but I don't know if I have the skills to do that. But I don't, I mean, Beachbody, if you're watching this, thank you very much for letting me put this online. Uh, I hope you don't mind. If you do mind, let me know, I'll take it down. But uh, I appreciate you letting me, letting me share this with people. Uh, and as for everyone else, thank you again for watching, for join coming along. I hope you didn't just watch, I hope you joined in, because that would be just kind of weird if you just watched me work out. It'd be kind of... I mean, unless you're a woman, hey, then give me a call because that was awkward. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to sign out. I bid you adieu until I see you again. I don't know if it'll be, if you're subscribed to my channel, I don't know if it'll be in more exercise or cooking or gaming or hobbying. It could be anything. My channel is just a hodgepodge of, of nonsense and whatever I feel like doing that day. So. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Uh, maybe it's a movie review. Anyways, I will, uh, until I see you again, I bid you adieu and I bow to you for being amazing. Take care, I'll see you around.